My name is Ellen Heck, and I'm the author and illustrator of A is for B. So the idea for A is for B came about five years ago when I was reading a Lithuanian alphabet book to our then one-year-old son. We got to a page with the letter B and a picture of a monkey, and I couldn't remember the Lithuanian word for monkey, so I just read B is for monkey, and we read it all the way through like that, and it was funny and fun, and that was the spark of the idea. So now A is for B is an alphabet book in translation that celebrates the fact that something funny and fun in one context can be true in another. So the book begins with A is for B and there's a big illustration of a bumblebee and then four languages of the many in which the word for bumblebee does in fact begin with the letter A. And the book progresses from there. So it's, a, it's an embrace of all the things we lose in translation, but also what we discover. And putting it together was definitely a big puzzle. Sometimes it was really tough, but sometimes it was super easy. For example, uh, for the letter X in an English alphabet book with animals, it's often really tough to find a commonly known animal that starts with the letter X, but here, it was uh, it, X is for bear. So that was one of those moments of, of harmony and happenstance. Another time that happened was with O is for eagle. There was already the letter form O hidden in the eye of an eagle. And I had been designing each spread so that the letter form would be hidden somewhere in that animal. For example, there is a letter S embedded in the mane of the lion on S is for lion. And F, a couple of places on F is for butterfly. Uh, but there it was already uh, on, on O is for eagle. The illustrations in A is for B are a fusion of these small, meticulous, black and white scratch boards that have then been blown up to two or 300 times their original size so that you feel like you're looking at these gritty analog lines under a microscope with uh, bold color and expressive hand lettering by the designer John Gray. And I think the fusion of these two things, the, the clash and collaboration, really works well with the overall theme of A is for B. And finally, at the end of the book, you'll find a QR code and a URL where you can listen to native and fluent speakers pronouncing the words that have been in this book. So especially if you want to become a read aloud pro of A is for B, uh, there are resources thanks to Levine Carrito. So I'm so thankful to LQ for bringing this book into the world and to you at Chronicle for sending it out there.